is Brenda with Brenda Stamp Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little purse using the scallop envelope die from Stampin' Up. I'm also going to show you how to make this fun suede looking flower for an accent. Here I have my two scallop envelopes and you can see I put sticky strip in a few different places. You want it on each of those side flaps underneath that scalloped flap and a couple pieces along one bottom flap. You also need three other pieces. These two are cut to one and a half by two and a quarter. This one is cut to three and a quarter by one and a half. So now we'll start assembling. Go ahead and take the sticky strip off of one of those side flaps and attach one of those small cut pieces to that flap. Take your next sticky strip piece off and attach that there. Do the same thing for the other side. Then take this, the sticky strip backing off of that bottom flap and close that up. That last piece that you have, I'm just going to add some snail to that and then just stick that down on the inside. That way you won't have any gaps in the bottom of your box. So that's your basic box. Then you're just going to take a piece of designer series paper and wrap it all the way around. Next we'll work on the flower. I punched this piece of pool party cardstock out with the blossom punch. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to start working those petals. And I'm using quite a bit of pressure here. So I'm going to pull each of those petals in one direction, then I'm going to flip it over and work those in the other direction. And flip it over one more time. I just want to really break down those fibers. And then what will happen is that cardstock will start to split. So slide a fingernail in there and carefully pull it apart. You want to be especially careful between the petals. And what you're left with is a suede looking flower. So then I'm just going to crumple each of those up, spread them out again, and layer those together and offset them just a little bit, and punch a hole in the center. Next, I'm going to take one of our new Designer Builder Brads, a piece of white cardstock scrap, and then I have this little butterfly stamp from the Itty Bitties stamp set. I'm just going to take some Tangerine Tango ink and stamp that on that cardstock scrap. Punch that with the little circle punch from the itty bitty punch pack. Just put a little adhesive or a glue dot on the back of that. Stick it on there. And then those brads come with these little clear bubbles. So you just want to take one of those and stick it right on there. So I'm going to stick that bread through the center of my flower and look how pretty that is. So then I'm going to bring my box back in. I'm going to put it right about there, punch a hole, stick that bread through the hole, peel that sticky strip off. the butterflies right side up and I'm going to stick that down. Isn't that fun? The last thing I'll do 
is punch holes in the sides for my ribbon handle. For my ribbon handle, I'm just going to use these mini silver brads. Stick one through the side. And then that pretty easily pokes right through the ribbon. Open that up on the inside. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's all there is to it. <laughs>